we go again. Football! Back in the Northern Counties, it's a Wakefield Derby. Wakefield AFC versus Nostal Miners Welfare here at the home of Wakefield Trinity Rugby Club. Now the home of Wakefield AFC as well. Massive season for the uh, uh, for Wakefield AFC. Promotion nearly on the cars last season. Lost out to Rossington in the playoff final. Can they go one better this season? Nostal doing alright themselves. Hopefully tonight will be an absolute cracker. See you for the first half very soon. See you in the ground. Oh, yeah. The, the one just behind the uh, goal on the ground floor. Uh, we are also doing a raffle to win a signed Wakefield shirt tonight. Uh, that's going to get drawn at half time, so if you want to get a ticket, uh, either get one now or right at the start of, of half time. Thank you. Come a long way from what I saw three years ago when they were playing at Featherston. Not many fans. But now look at them. Fans all over. Big future ahead for this club, I think. See you soon for the first half. Here we go. Here they come. Whitefield in white, Nostal in yellow. For presenting the batch ball. Say, I've got a new one. Oh. Give it. Here we go. Oh, weird. A few moments later. Oh. Uh, now what? <laughs> You've heard this before. You know, that's the players, you're going to have to leave the field. Oh dear. Not what we needed, was it? Your flashlights and pointed to the pitch. But I'm only joking, we're just sorting the floodlights the flood out now, there weren't any minute. No, I hope so. Well, I'm back on in a minute. Well, this sucks. You want no light? Well, I don't think you can quite see, but the uh, the players are leaving the field, which uh, is not a good sign. Hold up. Wait a minute. Yes, <laughs> they're back. <laughs> Thank you, Joe, for the donated 50p for the beta. We'll be kicking off in just a few minutes. Come on. And there we go. Right, well, let's have a few goals, shall we? And just for the record, that has never, ever happened to me anywhere. <laughs> First time now. I could just say the lights have gone out and one of the games I've been to. Hopefully, never again. Hopefully. All right, play on.
the, the power outage can have its advantages for somebody, is it? Oh, it might. He's given the foul, I think. What the hell is that? Now that was absolute waste. Again. Look at this. And that is a fantastic finish. Second goal in the 21st minute. Scored by number eight, Danny And that's what happens when you don't clear your lines. Giving the ball away again. Free kick for Wakey. Oh, same. Oh. Oh. Save. Space to run into. Let's go. Flicked on. Here they come again. Space. Get shot away. The block. Ooh. There you go. Look at this. He's going all the way. Ooh. Defend him. Oh, chance. Oh, he's missed. Oh, no. Go shoot. They'll just miss. Uh oh. Oh, who block? Half time. Half time, Wakefield 2, Nostal 0. Nostal makers of their own downfall, an own goal, and the second one not clearing the lines from inside their own box. But they're not out of it, they're looking all right going forward. Uh, both teams are trying to play football, uh, try and play through the furs along the ground. Uh, Wakefield have done it better. Will they do it for the second half? We'll see you then. Ta -da. Second half. The ball. Oh, oh we save. Corner. Let's 
skills. Oh, lucky. Gonna go for goal. Saves. Tom Tegan there. Ooh. He's given the free kick. He's going all the way. All the way. Oh. And the resulting corner. Hello. That's the game. Job done for Wakefield. So Wakefield sealed the deal for a night where the lights went out temporarily. <laughs> the noisy neighbours couldn't do anything about it. Hey, on to the ratings. Atmosphere. I thought the Wakefield fans were in good spirits, really, for most of it. Quite enjoyed it in the second half, especially. And we'll say five out of ten. The ground. Well, obviously, for the level it's at, it should be ten out of ten, shouldn't it? Because no, uh, no grounds of this standard at this level, are they, really? Apart from Worcester Ravens, maybe. But, um... It's a, it's a nice stadium. It's good. The main stand's got a bit of York City about it. Um, the rest of the ground, the terrace behind the goal is really good. I love to stand the football grounds. Um, and again, you know, the terrace at the other side is pretty good as well. I think it's National League in football terms. Obviously, it is meant to be a rugby ground. But um, still, I'm going to say 8 out of 10, I think. Really good. Expense. Well, £6 to get in. A pint a pint for £8. Quite a decent deal, I suppose. Obviously, three goals. Non-league prices again. I'm going to say ten out of ten. Overall experience. <laughs> oh! Oh! He's got it! All the way again. Look at this. And that is fantastic for him. And the resulting corner. Hello. Oh, you go. Well, lovely to meet Danny here tonight, and. Uh, Great to get a chat with uh, Wakefield manager Gabriel before and after the game as well. It's nice to see, speak to him. Um, and again, three goals, a resounding performance for Wakefield in the end. Um, tricky one, tricky one. <laughs> I mean, I've never had the lights go out before. That is a first. That is a first. Made it interesting. Thought we might not have much more of a game left afterwards. But um, I'm going to say 8 out of 10 again, I think, yeah. Which leaves Wakefield on a score of 31 out of 40, which is a very, very good score. Great job, Wakefield. Now go and finish the job and get yourselves up the football pyramid. You've definitely got the infrastructure, the population and, you know, quite a mini fan base building on these parts. The future looks bright. All the best to Wakefield for the rest of the season. <laughs> 